Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Banquet Mega Meats. This is a new meal. Um, it's basically the original crispy chicken with homestyle mashed potatoes. That's what's in the meal. It's crispy chicken thighs and drumstick with mashed potatoes. It's supposed to be Mega Meats. Um, their regular crispy chicken meal used to come, I thought, with two pieces of chicken and mashed potatoes, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, this was $2.98 at Walmart, so uh, pretty cheap actually. And Banquet was like one of my favorite fried chickens, but I don't know that they, I don't think you can buy it in a meal anymore. Um, 510 calories for the meal. And there's your other info for you. So you can do this in a conventional oven if you want to. Of course, we don't, but, but you can if you want to. So uh, cook one at a time. That's good advice. Remove film from meal. Take it completely off. Remo uh, microwave in half for four minutes. Stir the potatoes and microwave an additional two to three minutes and make sure it's, it's hot enough. So let's see what it looks like. So basically, we remove the film four minutes and probably two and a half minutes. Okay, yeah, this pretty much looks like their traditional fried, or the crispy fried chicken meal or whatever you want to call it. Um, this doesn't look any different than that, at least. So I'm going to pull this film off so you can see what it is. Do it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, here's the meal after the coming out of the microwave. Um, the mashed potatoes thickened up really nice. They don't feel too uh, awfully sticky and pasty, which is good. They were really runny when I first stirred them up, so they, uh, they look pretty good now. Um, it has like chives in it, so that's pretty good. And here's the chicken. I did flip it over uh, when I stirred the potatoes up. I did flip it over, and I'm glad I did because it tends to get soggy on the bottom if you don't. So I'm going to turn it over one more time and let this cool off, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. I pulled uh, some of the chicken apart just to make it easier to eat, but um, I'll try the mashed potatoes first. That, um, that has kind of a green a green flavor to it, which sounds weird, but it does. It's, um, whatever they put in there that were, that was green, um, the scallions, okay. Um, the scallions make it have that, um, kind of like you put the green stalk of uh, green onion in there. It's kind of got that flavor to it. It's not bad. It's, it's actually pretty decent. I think I just need some, um, maybe some pepper in there, um, just to add a, a little bit more spice to it, but, um, I won't put salt in there because it's always got enough salt in it, but maybe a little bit of pepper. I think it would help balance that oniony flavor because the onion flavor is very, very strong. Um, okay, so let me try a piece of this chicken with the breading. So like I said, I pulled it apart just so it'll cool off. It'll be easier to eat on video, but this is from the leg. That breading is just how I remembered it. Um, it's somewhat crispy. It's not really crispy, crispy like you do it in the oven. I'm sure if you bake this in the oven um, to heat it up, it'd probably be crispier. But um, for a microwave, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty crisp. This is just a piece of the meat by itself. Good at tender. It got a lot of moisture to it, which is a good thing. Um, you don't want to dry a piece of chicken. Um, this, this chicken is good and tender, good and moist. Let me try a piece of the thigh. Um, the thigh didn't pull away quite as much, and you don't get a ton of meat on this the, the cut of thigh that they give you. Hmm. That's pretty good. The um, That bite and this piece right here, that's about all you get off that thigh. So the thigh is not a... Um, a big piece of chicken, so just keep that in mind. Um, that one's a little drier too. I don't, I don't know if it's because it was smaller or what, but um, it was a little drier, and it's the breading's a little tougher too because I'm sure that's because it was smaller. Yeah, the breading and stuff was a lot tougher on my thigh. Overall, still a pretty good meal. Um, like I said, I think this is very comparable to what they're. Um, their fried chicken meal used to be the fried chicken meal used to be a leg and a thigh and mashed potatoes I think you get a little bit more mashed potatoes maybe in this um, and I think you got corn mashed potatoes and corn in that I can't remember for sure it's been a long time they haven't made it for a while at least we haven't got in our area for a long time and it could have been because they were they were going to make these um, this one's considered a mega meats meal this is the exact same thing as what they used to have in a regular fried chicken meal. So I don't know where they're getting mega meats at. 
Um, maybe there's a bigger chicken leg. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's what they're calling it. To me, it's just the same thing. So overall, the meal's pretty good. I really almost wish they'd left some of the scallions out and maybe, um, I don't know, put put something else in there. The scallions are okay, but it really adds a very um, a green, earthy kind of flavor to it. And, and some of you may love that. I just, I don't particularly care for it. Like I said, some pepper would probably help offset that a little bit, but it's a little too green onion-y for me. The chicken itself is good. I wish the thigh had been a little bit tender. I only went with two and a half minutes on the second heat, so um, I didn't really overcook it. And good thing I didn't because if I went any further, um, I think that thigh would have been so dry you wouldn't have been able to eat it and the leg probably would have dried out quite a bit too. So um, overall, I'm going to give it a four. It's got good flavors to it, uh, especially in the chicken. The, again, the mashed potatoes are good. It's just not a personal preference for me. I just don't like that really oniony flavor in my mashed potatoes. But, but if you like that, that's it's not bad. It's just different for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick with a four. The breading on the chicken, by the way, is really good. It's not a... Um, what I consider a traditional southern fried chicken, it's more, it's got some sugar or something in it, so it makes it like a sweet breading. Um, not sweet like in, wow, that's really sweet, like a dessert, but it, but you can tell there's something else in there besides just flour and salt and pepper. So uh, the, I always like their chicken really good, and you can buy the big bags, it's just their frozen chicken. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to stick with it for, definitely worth trying out if you like uh, banquet chicken, um, but just know it's not a really big meal. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.